Welcome back. Well, I said I wasn't going to build anything until I painted everything. But that's a lot of painting. <laughs> it's a lot of painting. So I decided just to, you know, I was going through the sprues and everything I have up there and kits to do. And I found this leftover sprue from when I built the... Um, the new version of the baby bird for the space marines the armored thing I forget what it's called but you get well, this whole sprue is extra in that new kit and then there's a little bit it left on the one sprue so let me zoom you in here this will zoom where i want it to be uh, oh, wrong direction what i did is i uh took some various pieces off of that sprue Engine cowling things, little winglets. Like this uh, this is extra there. I got the cockpit glass. These little things, I'm not sure if I'll use this. I'm gonna set that back. This, I'm gonna use at least one of these right here. Bright light. Uh, there's the console, and I'm not sure if I'm using that. And then the only thing that doesn't belong to this kit that I pulled out of my bits box is two bolters. Because I'm thinking uh, this would be like a jet bike proxy, but I'm not 100% sure if this will be, you know, like my own little jet bike. I'd count it as a, just a Space Marine bike. Because it can only have one guy in it, with the, the way it is right now. So, I kinda, kind of thought about how they were going together. But, other than cutting them out and cleaning them, and seeing if a part would cover another part while it's not glued I have done nothing so it is time to start figuring this out start gluing and seeing what this thing will look like so this is totally off the cuff here totally nothing that I've really thought about or planned too much <laughs> glue everywhere other than getting glue everywhere how this is going to go together. I'm just uh, going, trying to use the parts that I have left over on the sprue and try not to get too much glue on myself because I'll need these fingers to unlock my phone at some point. Oh no, straight glue. Oh, no, get what? No, you're supposed to glue together. I might have to hold that a second. And let's see, so the, some things, where's the. Uh, it in front of me and I can't this thing, this thing okay I saw this piece so I'm like this might fit in here I think it happened oh, I think I got it backwards <clears throat> maybe I don't I don't get it backwards I do not have it backwards okay like that there we go up as far as I can there we go I'm gonna glue that like that looks like gonna need a little bit of glue on these side walls and as each step goes in you'll see kind of I'll show you the look that it's hopefully gonna do like I said I've had this not glued but kind of uh, held together the fingers and I couldn't hold all the parts at the same time all right, I'm gonna set that off to the side for a second Okay, so now this, whatever this is, goes into that piece that I just glued down there. And I'm going to glue this nozzle at an angle, like this. And when you get it on there, you'll see what it looks like. I'm wondering if I should glue this back on. I should definitely make sure this back still fits. Before that's totally good. Okay, yeah. Let's glue this back on before we knock anything else out of alignment back here. So I definitely don't want to be accomplishing that. I'll just uh, I'll fit together nice and look good. And it is, oh snap. It's supposed to snap, but it's not. It's like off. This weirdness. Why is it trying to go side? It's something I've done. It's something I've done up there. There we go. Now we got it. 
There we go. All that needed to be put together in a different order, I think. I'm going to touch up some of the super glue here. Make sure it bonds. It's going to be a mess, but it's fine. I'm going to put glue here. Just so this doesn't spin around when I'm done. Because I do kind of want it in a static pose like that. With this facing back, like it's kind of giving it a push forward as it goes forward. See if I can show you like that. Kind of like that. Easier to see when it's not uh, not being covered up by my fingers because it's being held by the glue and it can hold itself in position. So let's go ahead and put some glue on it. I like to glue things, over glue things. It should work. Yeah, facing backwards. Just gonna hold it a second. Like this. Oh, nope. Gonna hold it more than a second. Now you can use zip kick on this kind of stuff. But I never do because it doesn't make a strong bond as you can get. It does weaken the bond, or so I'm told. And a uh, quick drink, sorry. And then, um, I don't know, it's just a pain for me. I need to clean this off though, look at that. Grungy. Alright, let's see. Kind of cool, huh? Let's tilt it forward a little bit. Neat. So now next, I've got these engine pod things. And the thing with this is, I checked like if two would do, or one, and it just kicks them out too far, so that it's like this, with two. And you can see the gap, which is not cool, like that. So I'm just going to do the one. And it actually gives it a thinner profile, too, with just the one, so it, I feel like, it makes it more bike-like. Yeah, it's got this humongous engine. But, you know, that's Space Marine, right? Everything looks like a giant brick with engines on it. Oh, I might, might have took the time to put glue on the two joints that are all together. <laughs> I've been test fitted it, I guess, so much. I forgot that it actually needs to be glued at some point before being um, attached to the back here. I need to get this kind of as close to the middle as possible. And down lower, just just there, yeah. And so it's touching everywhere it needs to touch, and then whoop, get it centered, and hold it out of your view, right? See, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So far, looking looking okay. And you notice it's kind of this would where these little winglets would normally sit. If this was being put together the way it's supposed to be and then there'd be a bar connecting this to the other one what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna glue this over here this piece right here over this there we get like that and then I'm gonna cut off these hands on these bolters and glue them side by side and put them on there and it'll be one link bolter so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's cut this off while the rest of that's drying. I'll give it a little extra dry time. Make it a little bit easier to deal with. There we go. Two hands. I'm going to throw those in the bits box. Because that makes it better. I'm going to shake this up and close it. Because I always have issues with that. Should maybe try to prevent issues with it. I'm going to clean this up though. Clean this up where it's at. So I went down to the friendly local gaming store today. Of course, that means I am. It hurts <laughs> a lot. But I just got to keep going through it, right? And uh, tomorrow will be a fun day. But I mean, it's, it's worth it. Worth it going down and hanging out and having some fun. Join the hobby with others. 
that's how I want to glue that right like that so I'm going to put just a dab of glue on this little portion here and that's what's going to be touching between the two and gluing them together so we're going to glue them like that <laughs> well a dab will do you that much of a dab is a bit too much but we can work with it we can work with it we just got to get them even even and level and straight like that I think that's going to work push them together and hold for a second it looks sort of like almost like a storm bolter but it's just basically it is basically what a storm bolter is right two uh, bolters strapped together <laughs> you fire so yeah it's a little wibbly it's got to glue some more but there, there it is that's what it is looks like get on your side there you go I'm going to gently set this down let that glue over there on its own while I look at my things this is that's the right direction right yeah it's going to only go in one way so that's the way it's going go ahead and glue that in because there's no need not to at this point and get that where we need it so this is gluing there we go I have to go back in here with some liquid green stuff and patch up some holes or something but for the most part it's starting to look good starting to look interesting now I plan on putting these down at an angle off of this like this I think that's how I plan on it because then they will touch and I don't have a flying base for to use on it yet but if I can find some kind of flying base then that will work that's how I plan on doing that maybe if I can get low enough they can hold it up without having like, too much trouble actually so yeah that's how I plan on doing that so I think I put glue on there and do that uh, first I'm going to glue this piece here on because it needs to be dry before we start messing with the bolters in this situation there we go get it straight there it is um might as well glue this console in right now i'm not going to put the guy in and i'm not gluing the canopy glass because canopy glass will have to be glued in with plastic glue to prevent it from fogging and if i put the canopy glass in just set it in now or just even if I plastic glued it in, it will probably likely fog from the uh, super glue flumes uh, venting off from all the other things that are glued. So not touching that. Now if you look here, this is this is where this actually goes. This is a little landing gear foot and you can either have it closed or you can have it like with an extension down low. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning this and it's got, the glue is going to go in here. But it's got to be just open, not too far, and not too open. Because I, I don't want you to see in there too much, but I want it to be open. Because I want to turn it into the look of one of two things, just like this. Either a air intake scoop, you could see that as a scoop, or as an air brake. Where you just plop that down and help slow the vehicle. Either one, either one works for whatever narrative you're telling. So, and this kind of needed that be on there so that these could really find their home of where they're going to be. So, why don't we get on that now? We'll do this one on this side first. Because where this one is and the angle of this one is kind of going to tell the angle of the one on the other side, I think. This is the first time I've ever attempted this, and like I said, these are random parts that I pulled off of this sprue, and I figured maybe I could get something out of them that would be interesting and cool. So this is what we're doing. That's nice. I would feel better if I could pin that, and if this does have issues, then I think I will pin drill it and put pins in it. For now I'm just going to hold it good and get it glued and hope it does well. Take another sip of my beverage. I am going off sodas. I'm going to try to get off of them. I've done it before. 
um, inspired by you, tattoo for you, and my wife, who says I should get off of them anyway. And, and mostly because I'm just tired of the hassle, dealing with the kids, because they always want sodas, and not healthy for them. And it's just one of those dad sacrifices, right? You're a dad, and you do what's best for your kids. And if what's best for your kids is getting rid of sodas and junk and just having none of that in the house so that they're not tempted to drink them and you're not tempted to drink them, tell them, do as I say, not as I do, kind of action going on, you know? It's better for everybody, better for the family. And like I said, I've done it before. Before I've done a different thing, what I'll do is I, I know how many I drink a day. And I'll just swap one. The first week, say say it's, you know, I drink, I drink three or four a day. That's how many I drink, three or four a day. And uh, so I'll swap one of those for water. Next week, I'll swap two of them for water. And then the third week, three of them for water. And then the last week, it's just water. This time I'm going to go more cold turkey-ish. And I don't believe that will be a problem because I am very uh, adept in my willpower. I dare say, <laughs> I dare say if I'm saying it myself, you guys can tell me, but that nearly finished. I'm going to have to scrape some of this glue residue that kind of got out of hand over here, but I don't know. This is looking interesting. This is a cool little jet bike thing. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go and see if this bolt, this twin link bolter action will work. Okay, so we've got the, the end. It's got a little focus bump out there for the uh, cartridge eject. I think that's going to allow that to touch that. Seeing where this is touching, I think it's good. we're going to touch on the outside ring, actually. Yeah, I think I need to put glue here and here on the outside ring. I'll put some of them inside just in case it touches some of those areas. The more, the more points of contact I can get with the glue, the better off, naturally. But, but if I can't you know, get all the points of contact I want, then I think I want to be more forward centered. Yeah. More forward centered than rear. Okay, it's kind of weird that you know that might need to stick out farther to shoot, but you know it's sticking out enough, I guess. It's on what could be some kind of rotating thing. So let's look at the sprue, see if there's anything that might help with that action. I doubt it at this point. No jets that I might have to use for something. I got the guy right there legs and stuff because other one you don't need the pilot because you can't see into the cockpit there really is no cockpit yeah I'm going with that so there you go guys I uh, will put the man in later his body I'll build him and then glue him back in the seat but that would be my take on using these spare bits that you get with um, this flyer you know what I'm gonna games workshop really quick um, Warhammer 40,000. I'll find it real quick, real quick. Uh, Depth of Sturdy Space Marines. There we go. Stormhawk Interceptor. That's what it's called. The Stormhawk Interceptor kit. It has an extra sprue which is used for the Storm Talon gunship that you don't use. And that's what I use for this. These are all parts except for the bolters off of that Storm Talon sprue. And there's plenty left. There's some more. Uh, there's a whole other engine housing thing here. Uh, this little piece here, there's this, uh, almost looks like a side of an ammo bin, because there's little ammo things. Put that on the Space Marine backpack to create a frag cannon backpack. I might even go here, actually, on this. Let me see that. Yeah, it looks like it does go right here on this thing. What that's supposed to be for, right there. Now, two of those, and another engine piece. I'm going to use that, so let's close this glue while I just saw it. Um, little las cannon pieces here. Um, some more of these little things. There's the rest of these round things. These are the feet that you can put on those things. 
this is some kind of nose piece and I might put some oh see that right there I just that right there I squeezed that in there I hadn't glued that it's when I see what might fit up there that I squeezed in so I'm gonna take that out and glue it uh, you got the rain body you got these salt cannon pieces left I might be able to use for something right here <laughs> got plenty of those and then over in this other sprue is some more um, these would go on the weapon vent things some more of these ammo bin cover things uh, there's a foot for one landing gear a straight leg for landing gear and this mechanicus thing probably goes up front in the nose let's see about is that it's a little wide so I'm not sure if that's the right one I'm going to take this out and glue it because it is not glued as you can see it's just um, what would you call that friction fit <laughs> there there we go and just slip that back in there and it will glue up and it will be nice so there you go that's how to make a bike basically a bike I'm gonna use this I could use this for a little death watch bike pretty cool tell me guys what think um, what would you have done different um, and what should I call this a jet bike what should I do what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. Alright guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, comment down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel for uh, videos like this and other crazy stuff that I do. And I will talk to you later.